welcome, welcome back to another. We, uh, we're here checking to see what's going on. Okay, you guys, it's some great stuff in there. The problem is the door is wide open and we know people are coming in now. So we're trying to be super strategic with how we do this because this is the store that has the really obnoxious employee. I'll fill you guys in on that in a moment. <laughs> Tell you guys about that, but yeah, we're trying to really get it just to at least get the meat part back for some other stuff later but let me help babe and I'll be back all right y'all already we've gotten babe just motioned to me that he needed to grab her I'm trying to get a good one oh my gosh okay y'all so much good stuff in there. I'll have to show you everything. Like I said, hold on. There's a big diesel truck going by. <laughs> so like I said, we're having a sneak. That's why I'm talking to you guys over here. And when I'm over there, basically I'm just helping. So I'll check back in with you in one moment. Hey guys, so welcome, welcome, welcome back to the video. So I am so sorry because I know the diving portion was just all over the place and just crazy. So let me apologize for that. But when I tell y'all, it was, it was risky as heck today because people were going in and out the back door. So we were literally like at the dumpster for 30 seconds at a time, then running back to the truck once we saw somebody coming and back. And the way they're dumpster and back door is set up as soon as you step in the door you you can actually see in the dumpster from the door so we were taking a big risk but it's pretty warm today y'all and we thought about just leaving it in until a little bit later till the door was closed but I felt like that would push this stuff over our temperature limit you know because I told you guys I do actually temp stuff and we just didn't want to do it because it's it's uh it's not hot but it's a humid smoldering heat so just felt like it would it just wouldn't be good to leave it so we just had to take a risk today and I hate being that risky so does Bay but we had to do what we got to do so let's just get straight into it over here we have a stack of some chicken thighs these are the family packs by the way and we have one two three four five six six packs of the family packs there's about six or seven in each one of these so pretty good looks like price on here is 629 um expiration date is actually today 4 4 today is april 4th so we have i already tell you how many we have y'all i'm out of it <laughs> oh we have one more here so add one more to what i told you one two three four five six so we have seven fully let me try to scoop this back okay we got some chicken wings here two packs of chicken wings actually um let's see four four is the expiration date once again so all this stuff expired today um chicken drumsticks family pack these are the single pack of chicken wings like you probably already know family pack of the chicken drumsticks one two three four eight so eight of them in here they were selling for 387 they were reduced all the stuff was reduced so they did try to get rid of it um oh and back down there is the chicken thighs again all right we have some lean ground beef 93 7 um one two three four 
five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, right here. These are all one pound little packages right here. Um, right there, right there, right there, right there. Nice. Ten of these, and let's just skip right over. We have some more right here. One, two, three, four, five. Wait. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Oh, okay. Ten here too. So we have twenty of these total. So this is already twenty pounds of ground beef. Yeah, yes. Okay, ninety-three seven. Cool. Super lean, but that's good. I know my mom and my aunts who are in their seventies. They love the lean ground beef, so this is good for them. Um, cool. Okay, so brisket, 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 y'all. How awesome. This is probably our find of the day. Y'all always laugh at Babe when he gets excited. Y'all should have seen him today. I wish I had my camera on. He was so freaking excited for this. Nice fat cap on there. Oh, can I turn it over with one hand? Oh, Lord. I washed it off already, and it is nice and slippery. Okay, so this is the bottom. I'm sorry if you can't see it well. There we go. This is the bottom. Looks like it's fat down there, too. Hmm. I don't know. Is this a brisket, you guys? I'm pretty sure it is. Pretty sure it is. Nice, nice. Okay, so shank portion ham. Um, Nice and cool. Bone in. It looks excellent. This was selling for $15. Best Buy. Let me see. I can't read it. Hold on. All right. So shank portion. Best Buy 51521. We also we also have some Johnsonville breakfast sausages. These look so good. They always make them look so good in the picture. And we have one, two, three, four. And is this? This is not quite a pound. It's about 12 ounces. Um, expiration date is 4-4, which is today. So, four of those. Cool. You guys have seen us get these before, I do believe. These are the, uh, mozzarella Italian style meatballs blended with mozzarella cheese and herbs. And these look really good. Eight of them in here expires today. 4-4, four, four, if you guys can see here. I mean, they look actually pretty good. When we make spaghetti, babe, usually makes a meat sauce. I actually don't, uh, I don't eat meat in my spaghetti. I know it's weird, but I'm not, a, I, I told you guys before, I'm not a huge meat person. But, uh, babe usually makes a meat sauce. It'd be interesting to try these. Usually when we get them, we end up giving them away. But, um, yeah, may need to keep that one. All right, mild premium pork sausage here. 16 ounces, one pound. And use or freeze by April 4th, which is today. And we are going to be freezing all of this stuff. So, yeah. Yeah, definitely. That'll be good. Okay, let's take a look at this tower of chicken. <laughs> These are just whole uh, fryers that we got. And we have four, six, seven. Seven of these total. Give you a little look here. And it's just... A tower of chicken. We like to see that though. And we love these whole chickens. Told you guys that before, but we starting to find so many that we've started to just give them because we used to keep all of them. Now we're giving them because geez. All right. We got some more um, mild premium pork sausage here. Um, Same expiration date. Let me see how many we have. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven right here. 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 19 here, 20, and 21. So 20 of these and 21 of these premium pork sausages, which is always good to find. We have so many breakfast sausage right now. Okay. We have some Best Choice self rising Flour. All right. This is bleached flour, and this is by the Best Choice brand. And we have, I didn't even count these, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So eight of these total, eight things of flour. And this is great because they aren't busted. They don't have holes in them. This is really good. And they did try to get rid of them. You see down there, they were selling them for 89 cents. So they tried. I guess just no one, no one bit at the opportunity, but we are definitely going to be keeping these. Well, no, we'll give some away, but the ones we are keeping, I am going to be 
uh, repackaging, you know, putting a bay leaf in there, all of that, just to keep all the little critters and stuff out so we can kind of keep it long term. We're still in the market for a vacuum sealer. I'm just trying to find one for the best price, honestly. You know what I mean? Because some of them are pretty expensive. Also, I know a lot of people don't really care about this stuff, so I'm starting not to show it. But we got more of the kitty chicken down here. And we also have one more box of it. Let me see. Ooh. Yeah, one more box of kitty chicken down here. It looks like some ribs. Oh, it's some potato salad in here too but yeah I think yeah that's all in there so the kitties will be very happy with that my stray kitties that is you know my my kitties they don't eat meat really they want their cat food they do like to snack on lettuce and they like beef jerky but as far as giving them like little morsels of meat and stuff look at her as far as giving them that they won't eat it they won't touch it Alrighty guys, I hope you all have enjoyed the video. This was a blast, but when I tell you we are arms hurting, out of breath, and Babe was a beast, you guys. He was a warrior <laughs> today. He hopped in that dumpster. He hopped out. He was quick. He worked up a sweat. He was just throwing stuff at me. I'm very, very proud of him. So, Anyway, just wanted to show you all what we got. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel if you have not already done so. And we'll just see you in the next video. Bye, my friends.